Occupational therapy means um, helping others get back to their function in life, back to their independence, back to what is really important to them. So that's important for me as a clinician. I chose occupational therapy because it's a career that has a lot of options in it and you can do a lot of different things within your lifespan. And I also want to be able to make a difference in my patient's life and I can do that with everyday activities. I chose OT because I have personally seen what disabilities can do to somebody's occupations, their life, and their outlook on themselves and their life. I chose the UND Occupational Therapy Program because it is a transitional master's program, so you um, complete your degree in five years. I also chose it because of the reputation of the program and the quality education you received. I chose the UND Occupational Therapy Graduate Program. Um, compared to other programs because after looking around um, and coming here and touring, meeting with Darlene and the other faculty members, um, they're all great. They're all willing to work with you. They're very knowledgeable. Um, they know what they're doing. Uh, it's cost effective uh, to go here uh, rather than go and get your four-year undergraduate degree and then go to a two-year graduate school here. If you know you're doing occupational therapy coming in, you can do your two years undergraduate, three years professional slash graduate program. Get out five years with a master's degree, get your licensure and start practicing. So that's why I chose it. My volunteer experience was amazing before coming into the program. You have to have 60 hours in mental health, physical disabilities, pediatrics, and community service. You get to follow occupational therapists in their everyday occupations and jobs, and you get to see why OT is the right path for you. So the interview process was actually a lot of fun. I went into it being very nervous. I knew that there was going to be a community-based OT, one or two faculty members and one or, two, one or two OT students, and they're all sitting in a panel in front of you. So when I sat down ready for the interview, I was still a little bit nervous. But it was a very welcoming environment and they asked a lot of questions just to kind of get to know you personally and I left smiling and it was a lot of fun. So once you're admitted into the OT program, your first year is based off of the foundational OT information and then a lot of PEDS coursework to prepare you for your level one pediatric field work, which is at like a hospital or a clinic that is chosen for you. And by going on that, it's a really neat experience because you get to apply and like actually see what you've learned firsthand and like have hands-on experience. The UND Occupational Therapy Program requires two 12-week field works, one in physical disabilities and one in mental health. There are other opportunities to further your learning through optional field works, such as hand therapy or pediatrics. I personally completed a 12-week pediatrics field work and I thought it was very beneficial and rewarding. Some of the greatest things in our program, our OT program here at UND, is that we get a variety of different classes, so I really feel like we get a well-rounded and holistic education, and also the amount of support we get from our peers and our professors is great too. I've really enjoyed getting close to all my classmates. I mean, we've become like a family. And I also think that the field experiences have been really fun because we can apply what we've learned in class. I think this occupational therapy program has helped me not only with the technical skills that you need to be an occupational therapist, but also the professional skills as well. I feel that when I went out on my field works, I was able to interact with different disciplines and the patients and their families, and not only was I able to apply the skills needed to better serve these individuals and ultimately increase their quality of care, but I was also able to use professionalism when working with PTs, speech therapists, and their families, and educating on what needs to happen in the future. To learn more about the Occupational Therapy Program at UND, please visit the following site or contact Darlene Chapesky.